actually. So when I went, then we let it go to the end of the bar, and then you do da, ba, da, ba, da, ba, while keeping the groove going. So you're kind of doing two, or you can just do the ba, ba, da, ba, da, ba, and then come back to the groove. So. See, it's kind of harder than, than you think, but we basically had it. And on this on this one, let's uh, let's just try it once more, and let's be even, maybe even a little bit simpler with our licks, and try to copy them even more, even more dead on. I'll try to really mimic them this time, except that we don't have to play the exact note that the drum is resonating at. Um, <coughs> well, you can just stay with the same groove for a second. idea with that. That was cool. Um, now, the listening exercise didn't end up being the secret weapon, because what we found out is that we ended up just mimicking, mimicking each other all the time. We'd get on stage, and every time Trey went, I would go, and then that just got to be kind of silly after a while. Like, like what are you making fun of me? You know? um, so the mimicking thing had its drawbacks, and we decided, well, let's revamp this exercise. We went back to the exercise room, and what we decided to do, instead of the mimicking, we're going to do the complimenting exercise. And in this one, you're not imitating what the person did. You're kind of making something that goes along with it. It'll be the first one that does something that changes it up. I keep doing it. Those guys change around. Thank you. 